and welcome brave souls to today's episode of DIY Adventures in Over Preparation. Today, we're diving into the thrilling saga of constructing an underground storm shelter. Grab your shovels, put on your hard hats, and let's dig in, literally. First up, our protagonists unleash our trusty sidekick, the backhoe loader. Like a metal dinosaur, it chomps and chews through the soil, carving out our subterranean sanctuary. The excavation looks like a scene from a dirt-themed Jurassic Park, but with fewer velociraptors and more manual labor. Next, they carefully insert pipes into the ground, ensuring they're on landscape fabric, then fill them with turkey grit. Yes, turkey grit. Because who knew your Thanksgiving leftovers could double as construction materials? They cover these pipes with a vapor barrier and more turkey grit, ensuring they're snug as a bug in a rug. This step is all about protecting our vapor barrier from the elements and the occasional curious turkey. Out comes the propane weed burner and they roast those timbers like marshmallows over a campfire. This old-school method preserves the wood and adds a rustic, we-mean-business look to our storm shelter. Our southern yellow pine studs are then meticulously arranged into a square configuration. Think of it as a giant wooden Rubik's cube, but less frustrating. They fill the walls with planks, leaving no gaps. This is a fortress, not a Swiss cheese shelter. For the roof, these heroes precision cut lumber with an electric saw because who doesn't love the smell of sawdust in the morning? A specialized stapler, our unsung hero, fastens the planks with the precision of a neurosurgeon. Our intelligent team of wood artists wrap the entire structure in protective fabric and secure it with nails and more staples. Our wooden wonder is then transported to its final resting place. A layer of gravel is lovingly poured around its base using a tractor providing stability and a touch of rustic charm. Soil is heaped around the structure, tucking it in like a bedspread, ensuring added protection from Mother Nature's whims. Next, our protagonists construct the roof. Planks are secured with our trusty stapler along the edges and landscape fabric is wrapped around for an extra layer of defense. Exterior insulation is added, turning our shelter into the Fort Knox of storm hideouts. Finally, they cover the entire structure with soil, completing its transformation into an underground fortress. The entrance walls and roof are reinforced, ensuring they can withstand anything short of a meteor strike.
Fabric coverings are applied to both roof and walls, making the whole structure as snug and secure as a hobbit hole. Next, they construct two triangle-shaped walls. Using the same tried and true methods as before, these walls are set to flank the corridor leading to our main shelter. It's like building a tiny subterranean version of the Great Pyramids, minus the mummies. For added protection against the elements, they wrap these triangular wonders in fabric, because even walls deserve a cozy blanket. With the triangles in place, they backfill the surrounding land around both the main shelter and the corridor. Think of it as giving our shelter a snug dirt hug, ensuring everything stays stable and well integrated. Now, for a touch of rustic charm, they protect the hallway with iron roofing, a stark yet stylish contrast to the earth-covered main building. Inside, Eastern Red Cedar makes its grand entrance. This wood is not just for show, it's functional too. Our heroes craft interior shelves and line the entrance and floor with it, filling the shelter with that delightful cedar aroma and a natural aesthetic. Gravel is next on the agenda, spread evenly in the hallway and entrance area for stability and traction. They top this off with a layer of forest soil and dry grass, turning our shelter into a cozy underground hobbit hole. Now on to the crowning glory the entrance door. Planks are cut to size and glued together in a meticulous assembly process. For added strength, the engineers bolt them securely and trim off any excess. The door is starting to look less like a pile of wood and more like a masterpiece. Hinges are then affixed to the door frame, ensuring it swings open and closed with the grace of a well-oiled gate. For security, our smart heroes carve out a spot for the lock and attach an extra plank above the cutout to support the mechanism. Within this plank, a smaller piece acts as the lock itself, ensuring our shelter stays secure from both storms and nosy neighbors. With the door fully assembled and fitted, it's now ready for action. Our underground fortress is complete, combining functionality, natural beauty, and a touch of DIY flair. Stay tuned for our next adventure. Who knows what we'll build next?